Here in Elgato, it's about hunting. Fashion hunting. A new title update dropped and it's time to look good. Unlike this guy, who's still wearing Velocipray. Stop it. Lame, lame Velocipray. Why are you doing this? Don't be like this guy and unleash your inner gorgeous hunter. Leave me alone. Let's do this thing. Hello, 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 hunters of all ages. How are you enjoying the title update? New monsters? Cool. New afflicted monsters? All right. New investigations to reset? Yeah, okay, whatever. Fall on arena? Sure, it looks pretty. But you know what really needs to look pretty? You, goddammit, your hunter, your armor, your fashion. And today, then, we are back with title update one, fashion hunters. Not every set will be from the new monsters, but there are a couple select delicious, delicious, delicious armor sets for you to enjoy. And of course, as we all know, there is no point hunting if you don't look damn good while doing it. So then, if you want to get your own armor set submitted, the link to do so down below, and more info on that towards the end. But for now, let's begin with a few honorable mentions, such as... This beautiful Black Guild Knight look from our good friend, Razor Dragon. It's a beautiful blend of classic, good-looking metal pieces, the new helmet stolen fresh from Arlo, and a little bit of snow shear to give that fabric texture to round out the outfit. And plainly, it just looks good. But it is plain, despite looking good, hence the honourable mention, but I am always a sucker for nice-looking metalwear. And our other honourable mention today comes courtesy of the moon! Or more accurately, the assassin beneath its gaze, Lucent Nagakuga. I have named it Lucent Fantasy as the outfit itself does not have a name, and it's very, very well done by Natsu. I think there's just something slightly off with it, primarily the silver of the chest piece just standing out a little bit too much, but I do absolutely adore the purples into the more blues of the Lunagaron exterior, as well as the Lucent Infusion to give it its name, which is the Greatsword, which just sets it off fabulously. Honestly, if the silver metal -y chest was a kind of halfway point between the dark purpley metal of the Gore Helmet and the lighter cyany blue of the Lunagaron, it would be utterly perfect, but as it is, it's still a very nicely put together outfit that really makes that greatsword sing. And you know it, I love it when a greatsword sings. <laughs> get to, well, the bulk of it then, with our Cosplay of the Week! So this one is a very different one. It's not going to be a character from an anime, from a game, from a TV show, from a book, from anything like that. I imagine a fair few of you have watched a fair bit of Pro and New, but let me refresh your memories on a certain something. Fan Fruit serpent, serpent, grass serpent, I'm just naming things I can see and adding serpent at the end. Garden serpent! Agricultural serpent. Pumping arm in my corn. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, farm snake. Your your contributions are noted. I've been farming my corns all day long, and these goddamn other other varmints out here. Telling me my corn ain't nothing compared to their elements. I tell you, take your wind and thunder and shove it up your butt. I got corns. <laughs> that my grand snake popping for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, corn serpent Greg. He popped up again recently against Silver Athelos. Well, as you can see, there's a fireball from the ground and fireballs happening. And now there's a big field of corn. Damn it, Greg! I'm returning. I'm here to farm Silver Athelos. And I realize that's a lot of inserts, but when I reveal the following... Dear God, it's beautiful. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right! This is Corn 
serpent, Grace, instead of Greg, because it's a female hunter, and it's bloody amazing. Like, look at it. Oh, it's just so perfect. Three-piece Seregiosa with uh, the Geismagon waist to get the tail of the serpent, the Remobra hat, obviously, to get the head of the serpent, and then what other weapon could it be other than the Con Gun Lance? It's just inspired. It is hilarious and utterly well done. Razgriz 1NE, you really gave me a good chuckle, and I really had to share this with you guys. All right, then. Let's begin with our final five selected sets of the week. First up and first most is a beautiful blend of Rathian, of piracy, and generally just fantastic fashion sense. I absolutely adore Adore this. This is by Nye, and I, I don't even know really kind of what to call it or what to actually, you know, label it as. All I know it is using five bits of armor that if you told me them on paper, I would say obviously that's not going to work together. But it just utterly does, especially with the pitch perfect color selection to make it into a seamless looking armor set that I would believe is all from one monster. I really cannot get over how good this looks. And it's only fifth place, though granted the ordering is much more for structure than actual this person won, but you know, I do try and make my favorite one first at least. In any case, in fourth place, well... Yes, have a look at this. An absolutely terrifyingly cool mix of Seething Basil, Geismagorn, and just that tiny little touch of Velocipray. So hey, maybe uh, Mr. Velocipray Man's getting a little bit of in vindication here, but the glow of this, the fieriness of it, the slight tints of purple everywhere, contrasting with the black, I mean, it's a really inspired outfit. It really does feel like, you know, evil over-the-top villain of the story and I really can get behind how well this actually works. For now though, in third place, we have an outfit that I really went back and forth on for a long time because initially I looked at it and I was like, ah, but it just grew on me so fast. Like, massively fast. Like, I should probably go to a doctor and get it looked at, but I really can't deny how well this works. And it's different. It's unique. It's none like anything that I have had submitted before. And I mean, evidently, it's just this flowy kind of cloak look that really, really synergizes beautifully with itself. And it's this lovely black and white aesthetic, the mask on top, even the weapon choice really works. It's it's, like, awesomely baggy, if I can say that. It's an awesomely baggy outfit, and I am really, really impressed with it. And it is by Auto Octopus, which is also a fantastic name. And I should mention that the, the previous one at fourth place with the Seething Basil was called The Grinning Hell Knight by Plague Guy, as it occurs to me, I forgot to say that. In any case, yeah, this has massive points for just being so so out the box, out the picture, above the forest, out the picture and above the forest. I wanted to say thinking outside the box. Then in second place, we have, and here we see the Bombardier Beetle firing its caustic mix of chemicals, searing temperatures, burn would-be aggressors, and show them who's boss. This bug is hardcore. And the armor set inspired by its namesake is equally as hardcore. Is this not glorious? A mix of seething basil and a little bit of the Olicanth armor set to get yourself this just magnificent, mesmerizing, glowing fire tank, well, bombardier beetle insect look that just is fabulous. I honestly cannot get enough of it. And normally I don't really like the insecty armor, but this just makes it work. It's so perfect, and it brought such a smile to my face when I first saw it. And it's one of those that you see and you're like, yep, 
that's going in the list. That is amazing. Okay, well done you. So that is by Vash, and honestly, yeah, nicely done. In first place, then, we have a really, really unique look that I am so, so pleased with. This is the Forest Guardian, and it is by a Mr. Phantom, and I really love it, because normally your woodland, foresty aesthetic has slagged off armor, and like Adele armor, and all of that, you know, classically plant stuff. So going in this different direction, and actually having a little bit of Garangome with the Zenoga helmet, which utterly looks like it's made for it. It even carries that same lovely turquoise glow shading from the eyes, the mouth, down to uh, the shapes on the chest, which is magnificent. The Snowshear bottom half really works well with it, and of course the Hunter's Van Braces to finish it off. I mean, it looks like a complete outfit. The dark green and the brown work wonderfully, and then that pop of turquoise really does set it off. This looks like a mystical wanderer that would be emerging from the forest to ask you what the hell are you doing on his territory that he's responsible for. And even we have a massively good weapon selection that carry that same color scheme and turquoise glow. It just is such a amazingly inspired outfit, and well, it's definitely inspired me. So yeah, fantastically well done. On Mr. Phantom, and you've certainly spooked me with your fashion hunting skills, because Phantom and Spooky. Okay, I'll stop talking now, or at least move on to the part where I start ending talking, because I'm going to tell you how to submit. As I said in the link down below in the description, but please include screenshots of poses, videos, a little slow pan around your character, any hunting you want, anything fun. The more you provide, basically, the better it is for you to be featured, and that's really all well and good. Just give as much stuff as you can to really set it off, and uh, really put across that you've put a lot of thought into it, because a lot of you really have, and it's really awesome to see. For now then, well, like if you enjoyed this, please consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below, subscribe and hit the bell for more, and until we meet again, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye